Hi and welcome back. In this video, we'll write our second script, which is for the ball movement and possibly also one for our paddle movement, which the player can control. So let's just jump right in. So let's go to our scripts folder and we already have our script, which is the scene generator, which we created. Let's create another script and just call it ball. So uh, now I can go into VS code and here I can see that ball.cs has been created. Once again, I'm going to get rid of these comments and um, position the braces the way I, I like them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the ball script to the ball object itself. So my script will go in here and now what I can do is I don't really need to uh, need to access the ball game object like I was accessing the tile game object. I don't have to do uh, something like uh, game object ball and the reason that uh, happens is because I can just access the ball using uh, the word this so that should work. And uh, even simpler, even if I uh, mention things without the this, so my ball has something called a transform. So let's go back to Unity and here we can see that our ball has this thing called a transform. So if I just write the word transform, it automatically assumes that we are talking about the transform, uh, which is uh, a child of the object that I just connected the script to. So if my script was placed on ball, it will just assume that it's this transform that, that I'm talking about and not this one because every object will have a transform. So uh, the simplest way to move a ball is to say transform dot translate uh, because we want a translation of our object. It's called transform dot translate. Um, and here all I have to do is I need to give it some values. So let me give it a value of 0 0.01 um, that would need an F there, 0 0.01 and 0. I don't want it to translate in the Z direction. And once I save this and go back, I should be able to just run the game and the ball will start moving. So we can see that the ball is moving now. And uh, we might want it to move in the negative y direction initially, so let's do that. Um, the speed I think was fine, but I don't want to give it a speed like this and uh, we'll see why later. But what I want to do is I want to create uh, variables for this. So I make a private uh, float and let's call this x velocity, so x well and I create another private float which is y velocity so y well and uh, once I have these x and y velocities um, I'm just going to plug these in here so I do x well here and um, y well here and in my start function I can just set x well to um, 0 0.01 and y well to minus 0.01 and uh, this should work as well so let's go and try it. and you can see that the ball is moving downwards so uh, we are all good till here um, since this video has been pretty short let's also create a paddle script or rather what I am going to call it is um, a player input script so I create player input right here I could connect it to the paddle if I want so that's exactly what I'll do. So I connect the player input script to the paddle and uh, let me open the player input script from here. So now what I want to do is I want some way to, uh, to just check whether a user has pressed a key and the way to do that is the following so I write if input input dot get key down and then uh, as a as an argument to get key down what I need to pass is um, key code dot a let's say so I'm looking for the a key 
and uh, within this i need to specify the action that needs to be performed when the a key is pressed so let me mention the action as just debug.log um, a was pressed and once i go back i should be able to run this and um, i've removed the maximize on play so that we can see the console right here and when i hit play you can see that uh, when i press the a key uh, it's printing a was pressed so that is how we can detect keys but the problem here is that i i don't want just uh, when the a was pressed i also want when a was held down so i want all of the frames when a was pressed down and the way i can do that that is instead of get key down i use get key and now get key doesn't take uh, key code dot a there are some certain um, certain keys that it knows already so if i say left then it knows uh, the left key and i can just debug dot log left was pressed um, actually instead of debug dot log let's just do uh, a trans transform dot translate so transform dot translate and uh, let me specify a pedal speed here so private um, const in uh, pedal underscore speed equals um, let's just say it's 0.05 that's five times as fast as the ball so i do a transform dot translate and because it is in the left direction that's my negative direction so i do uh, minus pedal uh, speed comma zero comma zero i don't want any y or z translation and i can get rid of this now so i've got an error here and that's because uh, this should be a float and i should have a 0.5 f right here so this should work now all right so let me hit run and see what happens so when i hit the left key the battle is going in the left direction it is of course going out of the screen because we didn't add any condition for that but uh, we've actually got the battle moving which is pretty amazing let's just go back and uh, get rid of this debug.log and uh, let's copy this and write an else if here in the else if i'm going to give it a write and just remove the minus from here that should also allow me to move my paddle in the right direction so now i can use the left and right arrow keys to move the paddle um, the paddle movement is kind of slow so we can speed that up easily by just uh, changing this value right here so it's better now but probably not the best yet but we've got uh, the paddle moving we can tweak this value as we want and just take a look at that but we have got the paddle moving and we are almost done all we need need to do is we need to handle collisions between the ball and the paddle the ball and the bricks and uh, then we'll just have to do some finishing touches which is not letting the paddle go out of the screen and things like that but uh, we are pretty close to finishing this off i hope you're uh, you're enjoying this series if you are don't forget to give the video a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this series with your friends see you in the next video stay tuned